Hello YouTube and welcome to another uh, Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to check the ZFS file system storage pool on Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is ZFS? So the ZFS file system is actually a combined file system and logical volume manager it was actually designed by sun microsystem okay and it offers some enterprise level features okay on low budget hardware okay so one of these features we can uh, actually list easy management by the command line or the GUI okay it offers also protection against data corruption okay it has some encryption features and also as you have seen on my previous video in order to take snapshots we have for especially for uh, LXC containers we have to set up ZDFS okay it's also self-healing features it's reliable and it's also actually open source and as we're gonna see, it offers also some uh, various RAID levels, okay? So here we're gonna dig in our Proxmox and see what we get. So here, if I click on my node here, which is called PVE, and if I go actually to the desks on the web interface, you can see that I have here a desk slash dev slash SDC, which is configured as ZFS, okay? So it has some uh, ZFS partitions and the disk is almost 500 gigabytes, okay? We can also notice that we have ZFS file system. If we go down here, you can see under the disk we have actually the file system that we have and one of them is ZFS, okay? So here I have created a pool called uh, tank so most of the tutorial that you will see on the internet they create a zip pool called uh, actually a tank so we're gonna talk what is actually a pool actually okay so if i click on this pool here and i go to the details you can see here this is my partition here which is zfs and here it shows me there is no known data errors and it is online okay so before digging into the command line we have here to uh, clarify some uh, terminology for the zfs so one of the most important one that you have to keep in mind is a zip pool so what is a zip pool so actually a zip pool is a space composition of one or more disks so you can configure zfs on single disk or actually you can uh, configure it on multiple disk using as I have told you various RAID levels okay and here on the ZFS they called RAID Z arrangement actually okay and also one of the most important uh, notions in the ZFS are data sets so in that pool ZFS shows actually some data sets okay so here in order to interact or to check the ZFS file system in our uh, Proxmox we're gonna go to the command line so of course you can use the shell here on Proxmox okay or you can connect to your uh, actually uh, Proxmox server via SSH so use whatever you want okay so as I have told you there are when you set up actually ZFS, there are what we call Z pool, okay? So to find ZFS file system storage pool, there is some commands. So the command is pretty obvious. So you type Z pool list, okay? Enter. So here you can see the name of my uh, Z pool, which is tank. So as I have told you, most of our uh, tutorial, they have some convention to call it tank, okay? So here the size of my zip pool it's uh, 464 gigabytes 
and we have allocated just one that one gigabytes so we have plenty of uh, actually free desk space and the health here is online okay you can also use another command zpool but instead of list you can just type status okay here we go so here we get some the same actually information but with different uh, display here so we have our pool which is called tank the state is online and the configuration here is the partition sdc which is also online okay and here we have no known data errors so it's better to run this command in order to check actually your zfs file system okay and as i told you uh, in that pool we create what we call data sets so if you're gonna show this data sets you use the command zfs list okay here we go so you can see here the different data sets so actually there are directories here so we have tank slash backup tank slash c drives tank slash isos and also sub vol uh, actually partition so actually i created this uh, data sets according to my setup okay so you can create it also via the command line okay so and finally we're gonna see the most interesting command so in order to test the zfs file system for errors there is command actually for that it's zpool okay scrub and here you have to specify the pool name so as you have seen on my previous actually commands my zpool is called tank so we're gonna input it here so this command actually will test your zfs file system for errors okay so we're gonna run it and actually we have here nothing so here i get nothing but scrubbing is currently actually in the background so in order to see the current health status we use another command it's this one zpool so remember scrubbing is still running so we use this command zpool status minus v and pool name in order to see the current health status okay so here you can see the scan scrub repaired zero bytes in uh, within with zero errors so it doesn't find any errors okay and the most interesting here output is this one here errors no known data errors so remember that to run if you have zfs file system in to your proxmox server you have from time to time to run these commands in order to check actually your file system storage pool for any errors okay so that was just a brief uh, actually video to show you how to check the zfs file system storage pool on proxmox as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye